for our updated TV dinner, we will be making Salisbury steak with mushroom and onion gravy, garlic mashed potatoes, peas, carrots, and red peppers. So, potato cookery. We're talking about potatoes. So, I have Yukon Gold potatoes. All right, so I'm going to start off by peeling my potatoes. Now, I'm going to cut my potatoes into uniform sizes. Why would I even care? I mean, I'm gonna mash them, so what do I care what size my potato is? So they cook evenly? Yes. Okay, so cut your, your potatoes right in half, lay them flat, one time through the middle like this, and then downtown, okay? Everybody in sort of uniform pieces. You see how I'm keeping the tip of my knife on my board and it's sort of like, I like to say it's like a, the locomotion, you know, like doing the locomotion. Like it's, you know how a locomotive train wheels go like this? Like if you get into a rhythm, you will be much more accurate with your knife cuts, okay? And I'm going to start them off in cold, very salty water. Is anyone here scared of salt? So then we're going to turn our burner on and we're going to BTB, ring to boil. And then we RTS, reduce to simmer. All right, so remember I said we're gonna be making garlic mashed potatoes. So I'm just gonna take two garlic cloves. I put them flat on my board. I put my knife right on there. Okay, take a look-see. I give it a little whack. And that breaks the skin. And then the skin flies right off. Now, we're just gonna, like, I'm just gonna kind of give that a whack, and then that goes right into my potato water. There's our potatoes. Now, we're going to start on mise en place for our Salisbury steak and our mushroom gravy. We need half an onion that is diced. We need half an onion that is sliced. When you think about cutting an onion, think always leave the hairy end on. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that stem end right off. Thank you for coming. And then look what I have. No more roly. We've stabilized the whole issue. All right, we're gonna cut this guy in half right through the middle, right through the hairy end. There's half an onion, the other half an onion. We're gonna take the tip of our knife and we're going to slice the onion all the way to the back but not through the back. We're not cutting anything off. And all of my slices are gonna be the same distance apart, same size. So our, my onion is sliced, right? So what can I do? Now, I'm just gonna cut that hairy end off and look what I have. Nice. So what do we do with these? Mise en place container. <laughs> Mise en place. So sliced onions are gonna be for the gravy. Now we need diced onion for the actual uh, Salisbury steak itself. I'm gonna start the same way. I'm gonna slice my onion, all right, to the back, but not through the back. All right, so look, we're sliced. For diced onions, start with the back of the knife and pull it one time through like that. And then we just start going downtown. And there you go, diced onion. Next. Part of mise en place, moving on to, I need garlic. So just give them some wax. What I'm gonna do with my garlic, cut each clove in half, and I pull it to the edge of my board with my knife flush on the garlic and my handle hanging off the edge, give it a whack. Hurrah! Get in there and feel empowered. Like if you're having some aggressions you need to get out that day, pull out a bulb of garlic and start smashing. All right, and then you can go back and give these a little bit of a chapata. Chop, 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 feeny, feeny, feeny. So I need half of this garlic for my Salisbury steak and the other half for my gravy. So when I go to use this, I'm going to use half in one and the other half in another. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to slice our mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna just pop the stem out. We're just gonna slice these, okay? All righty. Now, my mushroom, six mushrooms are done. Mise en place container. 
let's get our Salisbury steak actually started. For our Salisbury steak, we are going to sweat these onions. Sweating means that we are going to saute them without adding any color. I'm gonna turn my burner on and I'm going to coat my pan liberally with olive oil, okay? So I'm putting my onions in there. So we're just letting these cook a little bit. Well, that's going, I'm gonna to start to get the rest of my stuff for my Salisbury steak. For our mix, we have one pound of ground beef, an egg, one egg, half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. So we have two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and we have two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. All right, so I'm also to this going to add a quarter of a cup of chicken stock. Chicken stock. Oh, what else did I miss? Salt. Salt. So how do I know if this mix is going to be seasoned appropriately? I don't know. So now I'm adding in half of my garlic. So look at my onions and how I've cooked them. Now my onions and garlic are, are sweated nicely. And we're just gonna cook it until it's cooked through and then I'm gonna taste it. All right. While that's standing by, my potatoes are cooking. So we're gonna think about veg for a minute now because we have to think about our veg, don't we? So I'm gonna whip through my carrots really quick. Slices, sticks, and we make dices. Okay, that's what we're looking for. You know what, we're just gonna go bombs away right away with the, our carrots, right into a saute pan. This is a really high quality chicken stock because bones, when you simmer them, have collagen in them and it makes them like gelatinous like this. Start there. So, potatoes, let's take a look-see at these. Fork tender, see? in and out easily. And then right back in that pan. All right, so then we turn on the machine, get them started. Okay. I'm gonna add in two pats of butter. All right, I'm gonna mix that up. So my cream is at a simmer, so I'm gonna add about a quarter of my cream. All right, I'm gonna add another pat of butter. And I'm gonna add another splash of cream. So I'm gonna use, I'm for these, I'm using about a half a cup or so. Fluffy mashed potatoes. Okay. So look at this, potatoes done, carrots working. My Salisbury steak mix is ready. Mm. I put some fresh oil in my pan. This is when I want my pan to be nice and hot. When you put stuff in your pan, you wanna hear ah, like rambunctious applause. I'm gonna start off by making, you know, a nice big meatball, and then we're just gonna squish it around into sort of oval um, hamburger patties, if you will. All right, so now I hear uh, an applause and I'm like, all right, ready to carry on. I also don't wanna crowd my pan because instead of things getting brown on the bottom, whatever, they'll steam and they'll get really gray and mushy instead of brown and crispy. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take a little look-see here. Oh, yeah, that's what we're saying. It's got some brown food. All right, we're just gonna brown these guys on both sides. We're gonna take these out, and we're gonna build the gravy right in this pan, and then we're gonna add those to there, and it will finish cooking in the gravy. We're kind of almost coming down the home stretch here. So our pepper, you're like, oh no, how do we cut something that's as kooky shaped as this? The stem and the seeds and all that kind of stuff, just pull right out. Now, I'm gonna cut these in quarters. So with the tip of your knife and your fingers, very gently, we're gonna go and we're just gonna kind of give the inside of the pepper a little bit of a shave, okay? 
we can go ahead and do that to all of them. So in the meantime, let's take a look, see at what's going on here. We browned food on the bottom. Yes, we are. So I'm taking those out. I'm gonna let them hang out for a little bit. Now, all this fat in this pan and all the crud that's in the bottom. All right, we're gonna take that all out. Thank you for coming. All right, we're gonna give it a little bit of new oil. Onions right in there. Salt right on those onions. This is gravy. So look at my carrots doing nice things. All right, they're just simmering along. They're probably close-ish to being done, so I wanna hurry up and get my peppers and peas in there. All right, what do we have? Slices, right? Now what's next? Sticks. All right, now we have dices on our peppers. And then we'll throw those right in with the carrots. Carrots are really hard, aren't they? Yeah. So they take a while to cook. See, there's all, these are almost now like glazed vegetables. So I'm gonna add another little bit of chicken stock in there. All right, I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit. And at the very last minute, I'm gonna add the peas. So I'm gonna turn that off for just a second. Ooh, all right, my onions, look at it. Doing a nice little brown situation. Garlic goes in there right now, and my mushrooms. Now I'm gonna salt my mushrooms. And I'm gonna cook this until the mushrooms kind of have wilted, okay? Look at everyone's starting to look like brown food. It's starting to look really nice, isn't it? Now I'm gonna give this a tablespoon of flour, two cups of beef stock, so half of this container, and we bring it to a boil. To this, I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of mustard. We like it really nice and zesty. To our veg, we're gonna add one tablespoon of butter. All right, so look, I added my steaks back into there because they're finishing cooking in the gravy. The gravy is thickening, the mushrooms and onions are coming together. So we are really coming down the home stretch now. I wanna put something green on top of my Salisbury steaks. So I have chives. And just one time through, and we want them really, really fine. Guess what, guys? I'm ready to start plating. All right. So when we're plating, we wanna make sure that we plate neatly. I like to hold this spoon like a pencil. You take a nice big spoonful, bring it over if you need to put something underneath it so we don't get any drips, and let it fall off the tip, our veg. Same thing. Now, this guy, and then we're going to take some of the gravy and the mushrooms and the onions and kind of smother these guys. And then we'll give it some of the sauce. Okay, and then the very last thing. Okay. Nice. What do you guys think? Beautiful. Oh my goodness. To take a picture. There you go. You guys want to try it? Yes. 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 yes.